Years ago, hundreds of residents flooded Oil City in hopes of finding oil. But when little was found, most abandoned the area. Today, it's a near ghost town with only five official inhabitants who call it home. Went into the gateway of Oil City. And Mix come here to meet one of the most well-known men in town. There's the mayor. He's a real renegade. Hey, mayor. Greetings. Mayor of Oil Welcome City. Welcome to Oil City. Thank you. How you been? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, how's Good the world of you. politics going? Oh, well, the citizens are revolting. Are what they? can I say? This is Pat Neal, the self-appointed unofficial mayor of Oil City. Pat has long called Washington home, and he's one of the most renowned fishing guides on the Olympic Peninsula. Pat Neal is one of the best fishermen in the area. He knows how to fish. He knows where they're at. You can't get a better guide than him. Whenever Mick needs a fish to stock his pantry, Pat's always eager to lend a hand. Are uh, you up to uh, going fishing? Fishing? Yeah, I can need. I need to stock my uh, fish supplies. Really? Yeah. Well, normally I'd be busy chopping wood, but heck yeah, let's go fishing. As the men set out for the river, the unofficial mayor offers an unofficial tour of Oil City. How many people are living down here? Well, many, many people, and more are moving here all of the time. So how many is that? There are, for sure, 25 cows. <laughs> we have, um... Now, is that one of your citizens over there? That's a uh, chicken. <laughs> one of many fine local chickens that uh, inhabit the area. <laughs> well, Mick, that's about the tour of Oil City. <laughs> all right, let's go get some fish. OK. From here, the banks of the Bogachil River lie less than a mile away. But before they can get on the water, there's a stop they need to make. OK. Come on, girl. Whenever Pat goes fishing, he calls on a few fellow forest dwellers for help. What are we doing now? Just getting set up. Everything's cool. She's probably shy. We'll see. Patience. After sounding the call for a few minutes, Pat's crew reports for duty. Whoa! Did you hear the wings? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That makes my life, man. That makes my life right there. <laughs> These wild bald eagles are nicknamed Fred and Mabel. And Pat's learned over the years how to work with them to find the biggest fish on the river. Eagles uh, along the river are indication of how many fish are in the river. I mean, that's what you look for wherever you fish, actually. Out in the ocean, you're looking for birds. And no different here. It's just that these birds are after bigger fish. <laughs> yeah. 